Oh, that okay. is Gohan. Okay. Okay. So now I'm really excited to see how this goes because, you know, Gohan is ranked up in NorCal. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is going to be a very high-level match, at least, between these two players. Yeah, this is going to be interesting as well because Gohan, his characters are top tier as well. He plays Joker, he plays Snake. Yeah. Uh, I believe he plays a third one. It might be Cloud. I'm not remembering. I thought it was Mario. It, it was, might be Mario. It might be Mario. I could be also game that mixed in because we have SoCal Gohan who plays Mario. But right. You know, I think I am just mixing the two together at this point. Possible. Alright, now the one thing that this tells me is that it's going to force Larry to play at his best. So it is going to be the Falco versus Captain Falcon is legal. This is one of the characters we haven't seen yet, and it really shocks me that we haven't seen yet. Oh, I'm surprised because I know Gohan actually has a Ganondorf, but... Captain Falcon's sort of a faster version of Ganon and probably able to contend with Falco a lot better. Sort of yeah, I feel speed. like Ganon Falco seems like a suicide mission. Mm -hmm. I but Larry already all over Gohan right now. Looks for the drag down fair, but uh oh. Speaking of a suicide mission, that edge guard for Larry Lur will take his own stock away. Larry died at zero after already wasting his jump, and that is the danger of going off stage as Falcon. You have that recovery, but Again, you can get reversing so easily that up special takes a lot of time to start moving. Yeah, and that was an interesting misplay there from Gohan. Accidentally land or doesn't land on stage, forced to regrab. Larry is able to get the down smash to retaliate. Going in, attempting with an air, but finds the rapid jab instead. All right, the fair from ledge just gonna force Gohan away, landing near into the up to up air. And he keeps it going, gets the up throw into the back of the laser pressure comes out from Larry Lur. Yeah, this is a fantastic sequence from Larry Lur. The Falcon dive can interrupt. Good forward throw on reaction to the neutral getup. Oh my god, he calls out the jump with the Falcon dive. Phantasms back to the stage, but there you have to get on stage. Larry maintaining his safety and after missing the tech, just gets up in place smartly. I mean, he's not able to connect the up tilt into the backer, but he is able to finally get some stage control and force Gohan onto the ledge instead. Just putting him across the stage that time, the Falcon dive is going to get the stock gone. Has Larry down to his final stock and playing very safely, but Larry finds the back air off of the platform. I, Falcon dive doesn't connect, but he's able to land on the PS2 platform, making it difficult for Larry to punish. Just going again with another grab. Yeah, that was something new I hadn't seen before. All right, Larry trying to space out these Falco forward airs, but not going to find good SDI there from Gohan lands behind Larry. Ew! Down air into down air. That's a new one for ultimate. I'm sorry, that was surprising. I thought he killed. These Falcon dives have been so incredibly important to Gohan's plan, making it so difficult for Larry to punish him for holding shield. Right. Not only are they quick out of shield, but they sort of stop Larry from holding shield himself. And that Eto actually going to get him off stage, hunting for that down air as he rises up. Dash track going to kill off the top. Now that was still a really solid game for Larry, despite an unfortunate start. Uh, but Gohan able to just keep it clean, keep the ledge traps especially on Larry. Yeah, it's a strong showing from one of NorCal's best. and. Larry, you know, he's sort of expressed some of his frustrations with the character, but, I mean, he loves Falco. Yeah. And playing him, you know, in an event where he sort of has less at risk and less at stake, he's definitely going to stick with it. Yeah. Oh, and the, uh, he just catching the jump. It's been, Gohan's Falcon dives have actually been insane. All right, up to into the sour spot back here. Laser, nice. What a recovery there from Gohan, though. 
Want to use the laser actually to bring him back, but Gohan snapping the ledge to avoid that S map. That should be a punish. Yeah, it goes to the down air, gets the neutral air afterwards, but a retaliation from Larry Learn. Out of range of the up tilt, but able to find the gentleman. Oh, very scary stuff there for both players, honestly, but Larry gets the up smash it doesn't catch, or it doesn't kill at, rather. Yeah, these are two of the characters with some of the fastest fall speeds in the entire game, and Larry knows this, so he's hunting and going straight down, not even attempting the resets, just attempting to maintain these strings and continue these edge guards. Uh, Larry, Larry goes for the up tilt into the back here. Going to just keep the ledge pressure on. What was that up B? Other directions. Well, here dodge, but he throws out the grab to the left. Up tilt. Dare gets the reset, but he doesn't get both hits of the up tilt on the second one. That time using the attack to actually beat out the Falcon guy. Tilt in the back air, actually putting Gohan. Oh no, he's gonna be too low. And you know I, what? Larry, Larry takes that every time. That's really smart to avoid that. You know, did not want to use his own recovery to get Gohan back his up special. And Larry's gonna take that trade every day of the week, especially being a stock ahead. Yeah, no zero to fifty-nine percent. Good tech from Larry, and what a Falcon dive! Gohan just returns all that pressure Larry gave him and more. So the back air and the DI allowing him to live there, but who knows for how much longer. And these aggressive Falcon dives have made it so difficult to edge guard Gohan. You know, every time Larry thinks he's at a distance to punish it, he gets grabbed. Runoff there, going to be able to do it with a two stock for Larry, only dropping that one stock where he traded uh, for one of Gohan's. Uh, Larry only going out on his own terms there in that second game. Gohan, you know, Larry is a top player for a reason. Yeah. And this character, of course, he saw a lot more use with early on in this game when the meta wasn't as developed, but showing that he can still do some damage. Yeah, I mean, he still is able to play. It still brings it out for some matchups, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, like you said, it's been his character since Brawly was playing it. Um, definitely knows the character pretty well. And he's calling hard throughout all these games. And Smashville is going to be the venue for game three. All right, Nair goes for the up here into the jabs. Nice little conversion there from Gohan. Oh, instead, the second up tilt from Larry. All right, the forwarder just forcing Gohan off stage. Gets a laser for good measure. Another up tilt in the back here. We saw the sparks narrowly avoiding the kill. All right, up here into the knee. Not going to connect. Good air dodge from Larry, but an aggressive option onto stage is going to keep the pressure onto him. Yeah, Gohan hasn't landed a knee thus far in this set, but it's not for a lack of trying. And Larry Lurk continuing to trap him on top of the platform. Good parry to allow himself to get down. Interesting little interaction there, but the fair is going to connect at least the part that it needs to. This tag, but they're a tiny bit late to react. All right, Fodor, he looks for the drag down, but he doesn't find it. Down tilt, nice air dodge up. Doesn't back one laser to protect himself. All right. Throw it there from ledge once again. Larry's been going for those quite a bit, but they have a pretty good success rate. And ricochet off the stage in that back air. Sour spot. All right, Larry finally gets his drag down. That's what gonna kill from across the stage, and Gohan finally on the board here, but up smash actually gonna put a bit of damage onto Larry, 0%. Yeah, but Larry already has Gohan at 140. He has so many ways he can kill him at this point. And that's one of them. Yep, conversion into the back air. You do need to read the DI a little bit there, but Larry has just been an expert at finding those. And 
he's just on the prowl for especially those types of moves. All right. Gohan misses the tech, eats a dash attack, and Lyra just keeps going with it. Continuing this, another juggling, leading that back air at 76. Gohan, is he out of a jump? Oh, I was so excited for that to work. But Larry once again puts him in the cutscene, up to into the back air, going to connect and looking really solid for that game three. I mean, that was a classic Larry set. He got better yeah. as each game progressed. Yeah, that's definitely the Larry meta.